G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy 15 guide, and this time I'm going to show you how to farm unlimited quest points or QP. Now the quest points can be used to turn into a menu in the game. It's used for the uh, the time quest or the limited time quests, and you can actually buy experience here, uh, gill, AP. Uh, various different healing items as well as uh, Oracle Ascension coins and even a weapon for a thousand QP. Now usually you'd only be able to do the timed quest once a day, but with this trick you're going to be able to do it as many times as you want. So previously the time quests were an online thing and they had online leaderboards and things like that But recently it's shifted that it is completely offline now I don't think you even need an internet connection at all for it and with it being offline It actually means that the quest refresh I guess we can call it is related to not an internet clock, but it's actually related to your console's clock. So whether you're on the Xbox or the PS4, we can go into the system and manipulate the time to refresh this quest. So what you want to do is just find whatever your daily quest is for that day, go to it, finish it off, and you will get the quest point reward. Now you're only going to be able to collect that once a day, but go into the console of your uh, of your of your console, uh, just press the PlayStation button or the Xbox button or the home button and then go to your settings, go down to date and time and then set manually the date. So the thing to note here is that the daily quests actually refresh at midnight every single day according to your console's clock. So all you have to do is set it past midnight on that day or the day after and you'll actually get a fresh quest. So exit out of your clock and come back in the game and then go back down to your timed quest menu and you'll actually see that you've now got a different timed quest and you're going to be able to collect that reward again. And you can actually do this as many times as you like. Because of this now being offline and there's no online competition for it, no online leaderboards or anything, I don't feel too bad about talking about this exploit because uh, it doesn't really uh, ruin the community or anything, but it is an exploit, so definitely be aware of that. Another great point to this being offline now is that they've removed the item restrictions from these time quests. So previously we couldn't use the invulnerable Magitech exosuits or the Ragnarok or the Ring of the Lucii, but now those restric restrictions have been removed, so these time quests are going to be even faster to finish and a lot of them can be done really quite quickly. The trick is that on each different day of the month there will be a different time quest happening. I know the quests repeat in a set cycle so it's up to you to find the quest that is the fastest for you to do and then try and set it on on that day constantly so you can just keep on doing that quest over and over and over again so you cut down on your travel time and your efficiency really goes up another way to be efficient with this if you have limited amount of materials or you want to spend a limited amount you can actually use an account or a save file that has uh, all the spells and consumables that you need and once you finish doing the uh, the daily quest that you want to do or as many as you want and you run out of your stuff you can actually just reload your game and use that save again without actually saving your game. So there you go guys, this is a incredibly powerful, uh, yeah, we'll call it an exploit because that's what it is, but I don't think it's really harming anyone apart from maybe your enjoyment. So I don't know whether this is going to be patched, but uh, it is working as of 1.20, so make sure you get on it and uh, get that awesome Afrojack sword. I hope this one helped you out. If it did, please leave a thumbs up. If you get any comments or suggestions or any of the uh, the lists of good timed hunts to do that are really efficient, then please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo!